One, two, three, four, what's after four? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I got a lot of memories. Obviously, we've come to Australia over the last several years, and probably uh, I got good memories, I got bad memories, I got uh, painful memories of 130 degree, which whatever Celsius that is on New Year's Day here about five or six years ago racing. So today's gorgeous. It's great to be here in the good weather. And, and uh, you know, I'm always in love to come, come on over here. The, the fans are great, the people are great, always so hospitable to us. And we just, every time we come over here, we meet more great people, we have a good time. And, and the racing's great here at Sydney Speedway. It's just this track is, one of the best I know in the country and, and probably really across the world. I mean, that racing's just really good here. So we always enjoy coming here. People ask me all the time, what's your favorite racetrack? And I don't have a favorite because this is dirt track racing, but what I, I have a type of favorite, and that's a racetrack that gets two grooves that you can really put on a good show. And, you know, it's fun racing for us when it's multiple grooves, and that results in a great show for the fans. So really on both sides of the coin, it's great. And, and Sydney Speedway's got a real good history of being just a great racetrack. You know, I'm, I'm 32 years old and that's a pretty long story really. Just, I started in go-karts, or actually kind of on motorcycles and then into go-karts and then what we call a micro midget, which is uh, similar to your formula cars here. So, and went right from a, from a, actually a 250 formula car to a 410 sprint car. So that was a really big jump at, a, at about 17 years old. And it's just been one thing after another. I was, as a kid, we were fans. We, we sat in the grandstands and we watched races and you know, you had your heroes and you wanted to be just like them. And, and so I, I'm really, I tell people all the time, I'm someone who was lucky enough to live my dream. We've all, we all have dreams. You have to have dreams. That's what gives you goals. And uh, I've just been really fortunate and blessed in my life and have the opportunity to come out and, and live my dream day in and day out and to win at championships and just so many great things that have happened to us. You know, no matter where life takes us here in the future, we've had some great, we have great memories and we're looking forward to making more here in the future. Well, the challenges of racing with the World of Outlaws are monumental, from everything to putting a good team together, to, and that team is everything from your three guys are on the road with you, to your sponsors, to your engine builder, your chassis maker, and all your parts suppliers, and everybody really working together. It's, you can do all of that, and if your motor builder has a bad run of pistons or bad, that, that just makes it all not, not, not happen. So everybody's really got to do their part. Everybody's a very integral piece of the puzzle. And you know our sponsors are such an integral part of, of really that's where it all starts. You know they get on board and and, and provide the proper funding and, and also the tools to make our team what it is today. And, and then in turn, that goes back to, to the fans being part of it. So it really there's so many challenges that you got to think of I think to make a successful sprint car team, not just uh, on a weekly level but with the World of Outlaws level, the life on the road and all those things that go into it. They're so difficult and. You'd say, oh, I got a couple of my best friends out here and, and we're having fun. Yeah, well, spend 24 hours a day together for probably 40 weeks out of the year you're together. So it really is, is a tough, there's a lot of dynamics involved in it and, and there's so much that goes into it to making it successful that when you, when you finally do and you go out and you accomplish that championship, A, you're exhausted. And, but then you look back at it and think, wow, it was, it was all worth it. All the sacrifice, all the hard work, and not just sacrifice on our part, but on our, on our wives and our children and, and everybody that's involved. It really is a monumental task. And, and to do it two years in a row back to back, just really, it's amazing. I, you know, I, there's no, I don't, no word for it outside of that. Well, well the, the charm maybe disappears a little bit from time to time. It's, uh, you know, it becomes a job. It's, I know it being a kid walking up and think, gosh, I'd give anything to do this to be part of it. And, and I still would, I still have that feeling. And you have to have that feeling because that's what keeps you going in the middle of a July, in the middle of America when it's 120 degrees and it's humid and it's, you've just drove eight hours from where you were the night before. And you've got a tore up race car that you've got to rebuild and get back together for tonight's race. And the hopes of going out and having a good night. But, you know, it's just, you've really got to have that passion because your passion, your, your, they say your true colors come out in adversity. Well, they're tested on nights like that. And you really got to just remember why you're out there and, and work hard and, and uh, kind of every once in a while step back and go, you know, I'm really lucky to get to do what I do and I got no reason to be upset here. And, but it, uh, it's tough. You know, it's, it really is a tough, tough grind. It's a tough life especially for the crew members that, that sacrifice so much to be out there. They love what they're doing or they wouldn't be there, that's for sure. Sprint 
supercar racing is by far one of the most exhilarating, heart pumping from zero to 120 instantly things that you'll ever experience in your life. And you don't necessarily have to be sitting in the car to experience that. To be, to be standing on the outside of a straightaway when a car goes into turn one or to turn three and runs in there and you never even hear them lift, but then they turn and the car goes around the corner is really amazing. And then go stack 24 of them on the track all at one time and you really get something exciting to watch. So it, it by far and on all of autosport is one of the most exciting forms of racing that there is. Well, it's, it's very, very simple. Without fans, there is no racing. You know, and, and it's really, it's, it's the circle of life. It's the fans come to the races and, and spend their hard-earned money that they work hard for all week long to bring their family to something that the whole family is going to enjoy and be excited and get to come down and meet the drivers and, and, and just really have a good time, not only watching the cars on the track, but the experience of the races, the experience of what goes on in the grandstands during the evening with the track promotion and then getting to go down and meet the drivers at the end of the night and, and get right up and personal and get right in the car with them. It's really something. And then to turn around and the driver's got to put good cars on the racetrack to make it exciting. And then it all starts with the fan coming to the racetrack and then the sponsors get involved because they want to reach out to the fans that are at the track. So it all goes around in, in, a, in a full circle at the end of the day. And, and um, it, it's all important. It's all in, important to the success of racing. And I tell people all the time, if I have a good night on the track or a bad night at the track, I'm at the track for the same amount of time afterwards. Um, maybe a little more when you win because more fans come down to congratulate you, obviously. But, but my job's not over when that checkered flag falls. And, and some of my most enjoyable parts of racing is getting to meet all the fans afterwards, and especially the kids, because I was that kid one, one time. And, and I honestly was not the kid that ran up and gave you a hug. I was the kid that kind of stood back, and I wanted to come say it hi to you, but I really wouldn't. So I find a lot of joy in the night of, when you see the kid that's standing by mom and dad and really won't leave their side of walking up, getting down on your knee and saying hi to them, asking them their name and just really making it a fun experience for them. Because I feel like once you do that once, the next time they can't wait to see you. And that's, you just made somebody's night. And that, that's one of the neatest parts about, about what I do. You know, if, um, if I could change one thing, I, I think there's some work to be done in the area of getting getting the television out there and getting to more people in the world. We've really got a great product here and it's the economics of it I think are really tough because television is expensive but really what you need to, to get to the next level is you need that television so if you were going to make any investment in sprint car racing right now it would be getting this great sport that we all love that every fan here tonight knows how exciting it is but to getting that on television and getting that to the masses because this I've been to NASCAR races, I've been to IndyCar races, I've been to motorcycle races, I've been to any kind of racing that there is. If it's got a motor on it, I like it. But really, at the end of the day, there's nothing more exciting than what we get to do here. And I just like to do everything I can to share that with the world and bring more people. And not only to make the sport of sprint car racing better, but to really benefit people's lives. Because once you've seen this, there's nothing else like it. You know, I really, uh, I'm not a Facebook fan, but I think I, we just talked about this the other day. I got to thank Facebook for the reason that, that I got hooked up with Steve Kahn because Steve got a hold of Glenn Beaton, who was working for me about a year and a half ago, or yeah, about a year and a half ago in America, and put this deal together for me to come over last year and race a few races for him. And to be honest with you, I was pretty much dead set that I was staying home last winter. I, I had a lot to do, and I wanted to be home with my family. And and uh, you know, Steve just said, "Look, I, I got a great team. I'd like you to come over and drive." And so we took a chance on it, came over, and just we met some great people. I had been over here racing before with the likes of Luch Monty and Harry Delamont, who were great people, really took care of us. And um, I've met another great person here in Steve Kant and his entire family. And so after racing last year, we put this together to come over again here this year and spend a little more time and, and come to Sydney Speedway at where we've raced for so many years and wanted to be back at, as well as the classic here at the end of the month. So it's really been great. I brought my entire family with me this year. We're staying down in Albion Park with Steve and his family. Just. I can't ask for, for a better situation for my family and everybody to, to be involved, drive a great race car, and, and really just be down here with the Australian fans and have a great time. They're going to see something like they've never seen before. I think when you bring the, I think what's really neat about me getting to come to Australia is I get to come down here and race some against the best drivers in Australia. You got young racers like Ian Lowther that are coming up through the ranks and doing a great job. And, uh, you know, we were running neck and neck with him the other night. That makes him step up his game. I'm surely got to step up my game to make sure that, that uh, we can run right there with him. And you're not going to see anything like that. If you've been here before, you haven't seen this. And if you haven't been here, you need to get here because it's by far the most exciting thing you'll see. And with the, 
international competition here this week. I think it's really going to be some of the great racing.